Hello, I'm Brigantia, Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Saturday, and welcome to this week's installment of Loki videos. Uh, the theme is that Loki whispers in dreams, and he occasionally shouts, and how true that has been, at least in my own case. And this is just a short note this week. Um, recently, I've been having very frequent, vivid dreams that just feel a bit off. Uh, that's always a sign that my brain is doing more than just rearranging the files while I sleep. Several of these dreams recently have uh, stood out for me, not only because of the symbolism within them, which that would have been enough to catch my attention, but it's also how I felt after I woke up from them. The first impression is that I felt as though certain puzzle pieces were finally sliding into place, and I had a sense of calm and acceptance that followed that realization. And in the areas of my life that are related to those puzzle pieces, I felt ready to move on, especially move on emotionally, in a way that I hadn't before. One of the many things that Loki's influence has been teaching me is to learn when to set something down and walk away from it, and how sometimes that's the best thing you can do and the right thing to do. Uh, we're not meant to carry everything in our lives on our shoulders for all of our lives. When something is finished, let it go. Don't try to pick it up back again. Don't try to br artificially breathe life into it. Let it be and take on something new. And then secondly, I've uh, had the intuition that I've had those particular puzzle pieces within my grasp for quite a while, but for whatever reason, I wasn't seeing how they fit together. I wasn't drawing the right conclusion immediately. And I suspect that through my dreams, Loki has given me a shove in the general direction to see if that would uh, speed up the process. And that seems to have worked. I've, I'm enjoying an improved sense of clarity in what I'm meant to be doing. And see, thirdly, I'm feeling drawn into the wilderness, that it's time to explore more things that I don't understand, that I don't know much about, or that I haven't made a serious study of before. Uh, I feel very much the way I did when I first began my spiritual studies, and I never thought I'd get to feel that, you know, those butterflies and the excitement and the glee of it again. So I'm, I'm enjoying the sensation, and I, I can't wait to see what lurks behind the next corner. Now, if you work with Loki yourself, uh, has he made use of your dreams to get a point across? If you work with other deities, do they use dreams to communicate? Let me know. I would love to hear about it in the comments section, or you can come see us on Discord, and you can just tell me all about it there. If you haven't joined us there already, there is a link to join in the description box below, so I hope to hear from you soon. But I think that's it for today. Like I said, this is just a real short, brief note. Uh, some weeks are like that. But uh, definitely that's it for now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.